Okay, so I'd like to share how the RDP is actually fitting within my research program. So um, I have a very structured view of uh, how it's going to look like. I'm interested in media and information literacy, specifically in teacher education. So I'm looking um, at the current UNESCO framework that was just published this year as my conceptual framework for my work. Uh, I use media information literacy as a broad concept, and I'm sorry to print this and show as well, because it encompasses a lot of the digital literacies uh, terms that are going around. So media information literacy is for me a good one uh, to use for, for this framework. I'm interested, of course, in how students use media information to learn, but also and how teachers use it. So the RDP and, and the discussions about the RDP has, um, have helped me narrow it down to pre-service teachers because they are still students, but they will be teachers one day. And I use, I'm sorry, the print shows much better on my computer. Um, this is also part of the UNESCO curriculum that they have um, provided. It shows the skills that teachers should master by the time they go into the classroom to teach other students. So it's a very interesting um, circle that you can see goes from purposes in the middle, understanding, and then process and practices, and different skills that are attached to that. So te teachers should be masters of that, um, those skills before they go into the classroom. Now this is interesting because it's a very global, global policy, and UNESCO works at policy research and practice, and, and this, in this intersection, sorry. But it's also very relevant to uh, a nat national policy, especially if we talk about the Common Core Standard and how we fit into those skills into teacher education. So within those skills, I'm interested in looking at pre-service teachers' PCK, so pedagogical and content knowledge about media and information literacy. So how much do they know about media and information literacy and how much are they capable of teaching? So both of those aspects are very um, interesting to me, that's something that I would like to look at. Uh, how the RDP fits, fits into my um, program of research, um, I like to look at the big picture. So I see the RDP as uh, helping me to build my background and my lib review and all those things that are going to be helping me with the conceptual framework and understanding what are those skills, how do they fit into the bigger picture. And of course, you know, thinking of the future with the practicum and the dissertation coming next, I would like to actually talk to the teacher and see how do they feel about those uh, content and pedag pedagogical knowledge. Are they literate, if we use that term, in media and information literacy? And do they feel competent to teach those concepts into the classroom? So there's those two aspects um, that come into play. And using the, cur the curriculum that the UNESCO has actually provided, I would be very interested in seeing if we give pre-service teachers the curriculum versus not, see if there are differences in the way they um, perceive their own uh, capacity in teaching those things and uh, their, both their conceptual and pedagogical knowledge. So that's uh, in the broader frame, but the RDP has really helped me narrow it down to, um, to those research questions. I thought I would give you the one minute. Okay. <laughs> Are you done? Oh. <laughs>